What's going on everybody, Kalipas Tech here, coming back at you with another video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G and going over pretty much everything you need to know about this phone to help you decide whether or not it's the right one for you. Now, as always, if you want to learn more about this phone, including information about pricing and availability, definitely check out the links in the video description. But otherwise, let's get right into it. So with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, we're getting a 6.82 inch IPS LCD display with a 720p resolution, a PPI of 263, and a 20 and a half by 9 aspect ratio. So overall, on one hand, when it comes to image quality, while it's definitely not the worst, especially considering this is more of an entry-level phone, it's not the best either. The 720p image looks at least okay, but if you're consuming a lot of content like watching videos and stuff, where the image quality is a lot more important, then you might be a little disappointed, and you might want to spend a little bit more and get something with a 1080p resolution instead. That being said though, one thing that really makes up for this is the size and dimensions. With this phone, at 6.82 inches, we definitely are getting a really large display here. So if you're doing something like reading, for example, where you just need things to be a bit larger and easier to see. With this phone, that's definitely not going to be a problem. And with a 20 and a half by 9 aspect ratio, we are getting a really tall and narrow form factor. So when you're in landscape mode doing stuff like watching videos, looking at photos, stuff like that, you're going to get a nicer, more immersive experience. And if you're reading, browsing the web, using social media, stuff like that, with a taller and more narrow form factor, you can fit more content on the screen without having to scroll as much. So on one hand, is it really the best display ever? Definitely not. Keep in mind, this is of course a really entry level phone, so you can only really expect so much. But compared to the average entry level phone, that's pretty much going to have the same kind of image quality. The size and dimensions we're getting with the Revel 6 Pro are definitely quite a bit better. So if you are doing more basic activities like reading and browsing the web, this phone is going to be great for that kind of thing. Now for storage, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro is getting 128 gigabytes of internal storage with micro SD card expansion too. So for a phone that's just around $200, this is actually really impressive. So if storage is more of an important factor for you, maybe you're more of a power user and you're constantly downloading stuff like apps and games, or maybe you just don't ever want to have to worry about running out of space. Either way, if you are looking for more of an entry-level phone that has a lot of storage, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro is going to be a great choice. For security features, we are getting face unlock with this phone and a fingerprint scanner right here on the power key. So in 2023, pretty standard stuff. Whether it's a high-end phone, low-end phone, mid-range phone, pretty much every Android phone is going to have both a fingerprint scanner and face unlock, which is definitely a nice thing because having multiple different ways to unlock the phone besides using a pin is something I'm never going to complain about. But with that being said, let's go ahead and give the fingerprint scanner a try. There we go, one more time. And there we go. So as you can see, real fast and responsive, no issues at all. Now for the camera setup here, for the front-facing camera, this camera is 16 megapixels. Then on the back, we got a quad camera setup with a 50 megapixel main camera, a 5 megapixel ultra wide camera, a 2 megapixel macro camera, and a 2 megapixel depth sensing camera. Then for video, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro has a max recording quality of 2K in the rear camera, and 1080p in the front. So as far as features go, of course, this phone has pretty much everything, including an ultra wide camera and a macro camera. So if you're taking a lot of pictures and you want a wider variety of features, this is definitely going to be a great thing. When it comes to quality, sure on one hand, compared to a mid-range phone, the Revel 6 Pro is not going to be nearly as good. But with a 50 megapixel camera, if you're taking pictures more casually for stuff like social media, for example, this phone will definitely get the job done. And with the video, again, being able to record in 2K, while maybe not nearly as good as 4K, is still definitely a nice option to have. So overall, so overall, compared to the average phone in this price range, I do think the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro does have one of the better camera setups. Now as far as RAM and processor go, with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, we're getting 6GB of RAM with the MediaTek Dimensity 700 processor. Now I have seen this processor in all kinds of different phones before, and that's definitely not a bad thing because for an entry level phone, the performance we're getting here is actually really good. Sure, if you're on your phone all day, especially doing more demanding activities like high performance mobile gaming, it is gonna feel a little slow, but I mean, keep in mind, this is a $220 phone. So again, you can really only expect so much, but for what it is, I do think the performance on this phone is actually pretty good. And for more basic activities like web browsing, social media, watching the occasional video here and there, and some more light mobile gaming, for that sort of basic level of activity, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro is going to be plenty fast enough. Now I did run a Geekbench 5 benchmark test on this phone, and here are the results I got. So I do recommend running this test on your current phone, and then comparing your results to these, and that's going to give you a better idea of whether or not this phone's going to be an upgrade for you. But overall, for the average user, for more basic activities and more moderate use, as long as you're not going to be on your phone all day again doing more demanding kind of things, most people are going to get a pretty good experience here, and I don't think the phone is really going to feel slow either. Now the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro has a 5000 mAh battery that supports 15 watt fast charging, so definitely a great battery here. With a 5000 mAh battery, you can expect to get really good battery life and longevity. So if that is more of a priority for you, maybe you're on your phone a lot, and you need something that's really going to last you throughout the day, in that kind of situation, a phone like this with such a large battery is going to be a great choice. Now as far as charging speeds go, on one hand, 15 watt fast charging isn't really that great, but in my experience, it does charge decently fast, granted I don't really pay attention that much to charging speeds, but I would say for most people, it will 
will at least get the job done. Now, one really cool thing about this phone when it comes to the battery is that with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, we are actually getting wireless charging. And keep in mind, when it comes to phones that aren't flagship phones, this is definitely not a very common feature. Now, that being said, of course, you're probably not gonna be going out of your way to find this feature, but if you do happen to get this phone, just keep in mind, it does actually have wireless charging. So if you ever do wanna use it, keep in mind that is an option here. Now for the software, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro does currently have Android 12, so at least something decently newer. Now we are on Android 13 right now, and I'm not really counting on this phone getting any major updates. So if having the latest version of Android is really important to you, you're probably gonna wanna get something else. But for those of you who want something at least decently newer, but don't really care that much about the software, keep in mind, the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro does at least have Android 12, and in my experience, it does run pretty well. As far as other features go, this phone does also have NFC, so if you like to make contactless mobile payments using tap and pay, keep in mind you can do that with this phone just fine. Now, taking a look at the overall design here, really nothing new. It kind of has that generic lower end Android look, and on one hand, it definitely doesn't look bad at all, but on the other hand, it doesn't really look unique either. So if you're looking for a phone that looks a little bit different and maybe more unique and interesting, then you probably will be disappointed here, but I imagine most people, especially who are looking for phones in this price range, are probably not too concerned about aesthetics, so most likely that won't be a problem. I will say though, even though this phone is pretty much made entirely of plastic, except for the glass display of course, the build quality does feel really good. I like this T-Mobile accent kind of thing on the power button, and overall the phone definitely doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart. So if you're not necessarily looking for anything premium, but you do want good build quality, you're not going to be disappointed with this phone. In addition to this, it also does have a decent amount of weight to it, so that's definitely nice too. Also, in case you're wondering, this phone does have a headphone jack. I know Samsung has been doing away with theirs, and there's even a blue phone, I think the Blue Bolt N2, that doesn't have a headphone jack for whatever reason, and it's around this price range. So the point here is, as we go into 2023, I wouldn't be surprised to see more manufacturers doing away with headphone jacks. Not a change I really like, but unfortunately, that is the way things seem to be going. So if you do care about having a headphone jack, just know that luckily with the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro, we are getting that feature. Now, one thing about this phone's design I don't particularly care for is that we're not getting stereo audio. Now, in case you don't know what that means, when a phone has stereo audio, that basically means that when you're playing media, like watching a video for example, sound is going to come out of both the main speaker and the earpiece. But unfortunately with this phone, when you're doing that stuff, sound is only going to come out of the main speaker. And because of this, things are just not going to sound nearly as good. Now if you typically use headphones or an external speaker, in that kind of situation, this is really not going to matter. But in my opinion, it's always nice to have a decent phone speaker. And since unfortunately we're not getting stereo audio here, the sound quality with this phone is definitely going to be a bit more limited. Now again, if you're using headphones, I do want to remind you, this is not going to affect you at all. But for those of you who do like to play things out loud from time to time, just keep in mind on this phone, it's not going to sound quite as good. Now to give you a better idea of what this actually sounds like, allow me to demonstrate. So as you can see, again, sound only came out of the main speaker and not the earpiece. So if this is something that matters to you, definitely keep this in mind. But in conclusion, my general thoughts about the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro. Overall, there are a few things about this phone like, again, the audio and the image quality on the display that I'm not really a huge fan of. But at the end of the day, this is a really entry-level affordable 5G phone going for around $219 at full price. And with the deals Metro and T-Mobile typically offer, there's a pretty good chance a lot of people are gonna end up getting this phone for free anyway. And when you take that into consideration, with all this phone has to offer, like a really large screen with great dimensions, a ton of storage, a really good camera setup that not only has a bunch of features, but also takes pretty good photos too, and also good performance in a large battery. Considering we're getting all this with such an affordable device, even though it's obviously not perfect, if you are looking for a really affordable 5G phone for more basic activities, then honestly for what it is, I do think the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro is actually a really good device that provides a lot of value. But this concludes my review of the T-Mobile Revel 6 Pro 5G. Again, if you want to learn more about this phone, definitely check out the video description, where we'll be linking to several other videos about it, as well as some information about pricing, availability, and some of my favorite smartphone accessories. But that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow Kalipa's Tech on Twitter and Instagram. And as always, I will see you in the next video.